Hi, it's Alex. It's been a while since I recorded a video, and you may notice that the background has changed. And these two things are because I have moved. I just moved from Jenkintown, Pennsylvania to Newark, Delaware. I wanted to talk a little bit about why I moved, and I also wanted to kind of respond to a comment that a number of people have made to me in response to me telling them about this move. Some people have been really surprised at my move. They're like, why would you want to move from Philadelphia, from the Philly metro area, to Newark, Delaware? It's sort of like with the implication that it's just not an interesting place or not a happening place. And I know that when I moved from Delaware last time to Philly, I moved initially to West Philly, I was thinking in this mindset a good deal myself. Like, I was thinking, I want to be in a more happening place where there's more going on. And I'm a very social person, so my main motivation was people. I wanted to meet more people, connect with people more, hang out with people more. And over time, now that I've lived in West Philly for a few years, and then in Jenkintown for one year, I realized that I didn't necessarily connect with people in the city as much as I had wanted to. And I think it was a little bit stressful for me because I was constantly surrounded with all these people, but I still felt kind of isolated. Like I found that in Philly it was much harder for me to meet my neighbors. I did meet some of my neighbors, and I became quite good friends with some of my neighbors, but it took a lot more time than I'm used to it taking. And I didn't meet as many of my neighbors. So like, already it's this little example of how in Philly I was surrounded by more people, but I found that I wasn't connecting with people as easily. I could talk about this more, but I want to focus on positive things. Like, what do I see about Delaware, and specifically about Newark, Delaware? I think Newark is an awesome town. It's a college town, where the University of Delaware is located. And there are a ton of things about it that appeal to me. One of the biggest ones is the low cost of living, relative to how interesting a place it is. Since I work from home, it doesn't really make sense for me to live somewhere with a high cost of living. The cost of living in Newark is higher than a lot of places in Delaware, but compared to Philly, it's much cheaper. So I'm saving a lot of money by moving here. There is tons of interesting stuff, though, here. There's lots of cheap ethnic food, and both in terms of restaurants and in terms of groceries. Like, from where I live, I can walk to an Indian grocery, a Mexican grocery, a Chinese grocery, and a Middle Eastern grocery. That's freaking awesome for a town this small. Another thing I love about this town is it's super bikeable. Like, where my apartment is located, right behind the building, is this bike trail. And the city has recently been expanding the network of bike trails. Like, I'm not talking about a bike lane on a street. I mean a dedicated paved trail for bikes and pedestrians only. So there's like a growing network of these trails, and I can now get up to the main street on my bike where all the shops are located. So it's like super easy to get around. It's also kind of flat, which makes biking easy. Obviously I love the university. I've already gotten like a borrower's card for the library and taken some books out of the library. That's like a huge asset for me. Uh, because it's a college town, like the restaurants and shops and things tend to be cheaper and I love that. I'm like a real bargain hunter and I'm just not gonna spend my money at expensive places. I'd rather save my money and invest it in long-term things. Another thing I love about living here, and about Delaware in general, is the nature areas. And this is something I missed hugely when I lived in Philly, and still miss to some degree when I lived in the suburbs of Philly. It was a little bit better there. There are just great parks and nature preserves here. Like a really short walk from my apartment now, is this park, Phillips Park, which has this forested area and then it has a wetland. And it's fantastic for bird watching, and there's lots of plants there. Like, I love learning about plants, I love watching birds. Uh, and I'm also near White Clay Creek State Park, and I can walk or bike to both of these. If I hop in the car, there's awesome stuff all over Delaware. So, 
that's something that I find really exciting about being here. So I hope that I've convinced you that at least for me, Delaware is a happening place, and I'd love to sort of overcome the kind of negativity and self-deprecation associated with Delaware, and kind of in general associated with less populated areas. I mean, I think it's sort of silly to consider Delaware less populated. I guess it is relative to the rest of the East Coast, but I kind of noticed this trend that people really put down less populated areas. They say they're boring and stuff, and my experience has been the opposite of that. I love them, uh, and I think part of the reason is that I love nature. And I think that if you can learn to appreciate nature, you can find just an endless amount of stuff to do in more rural areas and less populated parts of the country. So I hope that this can inspire you, like if you live somewhere that you think, oh, it's maybe boring, uh, all that. Also, I think that the thing about like connection with neighbors, it's kind of a big deal, and that's something you can appreciate. Like, yeah, it's great to have all these people, but it's like, what good is that if you can't connect with them? Um, I love being able to meet my neighbors easily, and I love knowing a lot of people, running into people I know as I go through my daily life. So yeah, I hope this has shed some light on how I operate, and maybe inspired you in some way, maybe not. Anyway, look forward to seeing more videos from me soon again. Thank you!